What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, quick disclaimer. To me, there's really two types of Manny Pacquiao fans, and I got to break them into categories. One, regular, standard Manny Pacquiao fans. This video is not for you. This is not If you're just a regular Pacquiao fan, it's not for you. But then there's a subgroup. There's another group, an alternate group, and they are a different breed of Pacquiao fans. So this video is for you. So you have to, when you listen to this video, decide what type of Pacquiao fan you are. And by standard Pacquiao fan, I mean you enjoy the guy's style, you share the same beliefs as him, you think he's an entertaining fighter and you follow his career. I ain't got no problem with you. That's cool. But this is for the people that keep reaching out to me, hitting me up every single day on Twitter, leaving me... You know Twitter gives you 140 characters, right? And y'all use every single one of them to try to persuade me that Pacquiao won the fight. You know, Ego, if you watch the fight in slow motion, IMAX with 3D glass, I'm not doing that. I'm not watching the fight in slow motion, 60 frames per second, divided by two, then going to IMAX to watch it in a panoramic theater. I'm not doing all of that. You know, you got to watch it in bullet time. I'm not doing none of that. I seen the fight. I know how to assess a fight in regular motion. So this is for you, the people. And, and trust me, I got another video coming. Be on the lookout. It's going to expose some things that happened in the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. More reasons he lost. So stop sending me stuff that um, Pacquiao won and stuff like that. It would be so much easier. Like, it would be so much easier if, if there was some gamesmanship, some sportsmanship. You say, after five years, my dude came up short but I'm still a fan. Fuck it. I don't like Mayweather's style, but he won. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with that, but y'all make me talk to y'all like Roy Jones Jr. I didn't want to do this, but y'all made me. Now, the president of the Philippines, I repeat, the president of the Philippines is urging, I just read an article on Rappler, so link in the description, he's urging Manny Pacquiao to retire. Hold on. Let me do it in my Roy Jones Jr. voice. What I was saying is the Filipino president just said Manny Pacquiao, he need to retire. You don't hear Obama saying Floyd Mayweather need to retire because he won the fight. You don't hear that. You don't hear Obama say that. I don't think y'all are understanding. The Philippines president, Aquino, is asking Manny Pacquiao to retire. That's it. That's the icing on the cake. Does it sound like Pacquiao won the fight? Like, come on, let, like, let's cut the, the filth, florin and filth. Does it sound like he won the fight when the, the president of the Philippines is saying Pacquiao should retire? Now, let me read you guys some direct quotes. I didn't want to have to do this, but y'all made me. So I'm going to read some direct quotes. He even cites Muhammad Ali. Gosh. Instead of us pushing, no, we need a rematch. We should say you don't need to gamble your health again. He doesn't owe us anything, talking about Pacquiao. If you look at the honor Manny has given us, the sacrifice he has made for the country, maybe it's time for us to say, Manny, what you've done in your field is enough. Maybe it's best not to gamble your health any longer. Maybe it's time for us to help you care for your life and your future for your beloved wife and children. He wants him to be a family man and focus on politics. He also compared, made a comparison to Muhammad Ali saying that it was um it was it was sad to see Muhammad Ali deteriorating his his shape deteriorating when he lit the olympic torch and you can barely understand him now and you can see I, I, obviously his health declined so man leave me alone and again i have that video that i'm already working on it's almost done to be honest stop saying Pacquiao won and sending me all kinds of crazy shit oh his shoulder like i don't care about none of that he lost fair and square and again when you have the president of your country who's urging you and telling you you need to hang him up, do you think he would have said this after Pacquiao beat Oscar de la Hoya? Do you think he would have said this after Pacquiao bashed in Margarito's eye socket? No. But all of a sudden, even when he lost to Bradley, which most people believe Pacquiao won that fight, you didn't hear anybody clamoring for retirement. I've seen actual Pacquiao fans saying he needs to retire. Hang it up. You lost this one. Video on the way. So I'm going to do some more videos talking about Pacquiao. To me, I don't think the man, unless his shoulder doesn't heal properly or whatever's going on with that, 
I don't think he has to retire per se. I still think he can be competitive. I just want people to be good sports, admit defeat. That's that's all you have to do. It could be so much easier and you wouldn't have to have me rubbing salt in the wound in a video like this. Just admit defeat. But I still think there's guys that Pacquiao can beat or be competitive with. Again, if you don't bring to the table what Mayweather brings to the table, which nobody really does exactly in terms of his brain and um, defense and ability to foresee and, and dodge shots and stuff like that, Pacquiao is still a good fighter. He's still competitive with most guys not named Mayweather at 140 to 147. And it's because even with his style, even with the mistakes he makes, not everyone can capitalize on those mistakes. Mayweather just happens to be a cut above in terms of what he can do, how he can process information, how he can get hit with a punch that uh, pushes him to the ropes. Actually, he walked back to the ropes, but a punch that caught his attention in round four and then not get hit with that same punch that hard throughout the remainder. That happened in round four. People don't understand. They're, oh, this is boring, man. Listen, he got punched by Shane Mosley in round two early, and he never got caught like that again for the remaining 10 rounds. He got hit in round four versus Manny Pacquiao, right? And he didn't get caught with that same punch that has to show you something. That shows his ability to adjust, which is why I picked him to win. So anyway, in closing, the Pacquiao fans that are like sending me shit saying he won, just give it up. It's a charade. He lost. I'm not watching it in slow motion and all this. And again, I think it's evident because nowhere in this article did President Aquino say anything about Pacquiao won. He's saying he should, he's saying pretty much the contrary. He should retire. That has to show you something. If he in his heart believed that Pacquiao beat Mayweather, do you honestly, even if he wants Pacquiao to um, be more involved, hands-on with politics, do you think he's going to make a statement publicly about Pacquiao needs to retire if he felt that Pacquiao was robbed and Pacquiao beat Mayweather fair and square? Come on, man. Pacquiao still carrying on saying, oh, I won. I beat Mayweather by two rounds or two points or something. Just drop it. I'm, I'm so sick of... Um, I've never seen a group of fans, like diehard fans, take a loss this hard. I've seen people get knocked out and accept it better than this. You know what I mean? Even though some people come up with excuses like, oh, Amir Khan got hit with the lucky punch. Danny had his eyes closed. But people are really taking this hard. Pacquiao's still a good fighter. But... The video will be coming shortly to further prove my point. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.